Hey, this is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Work Reviews. Thank you very much for you my channel. Please like and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate that. In this video, I would like to talk about the um, what influences our decision making in terms of what sounds better, whether it's analog or digital. Analog in this source mainly uh, case mainly turntables. If you want to include real reels, that's fine. And digital, whether it's SACDs, CDs, high res files, or streaming services. What influences our decision making in terms of what listening medium, digital or analog, sounds best? I like to get to that in this video. I did past uh, videos on, you know, whether it's a video on turntables or analog versus digital, and there's been somewhat of a, a divide in terms of um, which sounds better albums or analog sources digital sources cd players sa cd players it's been a divide and um i think perhaps it yeah it's been it hasn't been equal if i have to choose i think this might have been a little bit more on the digital end in terms of which sounds better but i hadn't done any uh, stats or uh or anything like that but it's been quite a, a divide and some of the comments have been very interesting, very educational, very passionate, very informative, and it's pretty cool uh, reading those comments. Uh, you know, it's been uh, very, uh, you know, I really, I've really learned a lot from all you, all you out there. It's been pretty cool, and I really appreciate the comments. Thank you very much. But um, there's many aspects that really affect our decision making in terms of which medium sounds better. I'm going to get into the equipment I use to come up, come to my conclusion that analog sounds better than digital. But like I said, just because I think it's true that analog sounds better than digital does not make it true. What makes it true is your real world uh, listening tests using real world equipment in your listening room. Now, we're not going to talk theory in this uh, uh, video or your comments, please. What I like to do is... Um, ask you which medium sounds better, digital or analog, or turntables, or SACD players, CD players, high-res players, and please list the equipment you use to come up with that decision. Whether, you, whether it was equipment you used 20 years ago, 10 years ago, or right now. I'm going to tell you the equipment I use to come up with that uh, conclusion. But like I said, that does not necessarily make it true. But before I get to the equipment I use, I think there are many factors that uh, influences our decision making in terms of which sounds better, digital or analog. You know, our turntables, how well are they set up? Um, you know, what type of phono cartridge we're using? Is it a really good phono cartridge? Um, are you using um, the phono stage in your uh, integrator amplifier or receiver, or are you using an uh, outboard phono stage that might be a little bit high grade? On the digital end, what is uh, uh, the quality of your, um, you know, SACD player or CD player? Are you using a, you know, outboard DAC to perhaps boost the performance of those SACD players or players? If you're using a high res player, what type of high res player are you using? You know, what type of files are you using uh, to uh, in your high res player? There's many intangibles or variables that influences our decision in terms of which sounds best, digital or analog. Um, but like I said, in my comments, there's been a divide in terms of which sounds better. But I'm getting the equipment I use. And oh, by the way, my quote-unquote opinion on um, which sounds best, analog or digital, digital I think analog does, um, they're from real-world examples using real-world equipment and listening tests now, these are based on equipment that I can afford. I, I don't have one of these huge mega buck systems. I, I consider myself a mid five guy. And when I list my equipment, you it will reveal that. I consider that in the middle. But some of you out there might have these mega buck, you know, multi-thousand dollar systems that if you conclude digital sounds better, you might have this really high-end digital gear that reveals that. Or you think uh, analog uh, sounds better. You might have this really high-end turntable that reveals that. But my, I'm, uh, I have constraints financially, and this is the best system I can afford. And I'm going to mention that. Uh, I guess I'll do it right now. But my turntable, 
Oh, by the way, this has been, I mentioned this in other videos, so if I'm repeating myself to some of my audience, I apologize. And also, I'll leave the link to my room system tour for those who have not seen it in the um, description below. But my turntable was a Riga P8 turntable with an Afeta 3 cartridge. I'm using an outboard phono stage. It's a West WHEST .20 phono stage. I have a backup turntable. It's a Sony SP15 direct drive turntable that plays 33s, 45s, and 78s. It's a cool turntable. I like it because I can easily plug and play different cartridges in and out of that turntable. So that's my uh, backup turntable. I have a, uh, on a digital side, I have a Sony XA9000 ES Super Audio CD player. I've had that for quite some time. I, I, some time. I love it to death. My um, high-res player is a Sony HAP Z1 ES high-res player. My DAC is a um, Luxman DA06 DAC. Now, I'd like to mention, uh, since I just mentioned my digital end, Somebody mentioned in one of the comments, he said, well, Kenny, using older digital equipment is outdated, and that's going to affect your decision making. I'd like to make this comment. Um, when I purchased that equipment brand new, I did listening tests where that equipment was brand new. And the analog side of my uh, system, uh, my turntable, uh, whether it's uh, been my PA turntable, mainly, mainly uh, my Sony uh to, uh, my, not my Sony, my Technics SP15 turntable. The analog side and album sound better even when that equipment was new. I just like to uh, mention that. But I'm also using my amplifier is a um, Balance Audio Technology VK60 tube amplifier. My main pre-amplifier is a Pass Labs uh, X, let me see, it's an X2 pre-amplifier. I also have a backup preamplifier. It's a um, Macintosh C28 uh, preamplifier. That's my backup preamplifier. My two backup amplifiers is a Marantz Model 8B tube amplifier. And I have another uh, backup amplifier I keep on the floor in my music room. It's a Phase Linear Dual 500 Series 2 uh, solid state amplifier. And my speakers I use in my listening tests is our Kindle, that's K-E, I mean K-I-N-D-E-L, P-L-S-A speakers. They're very revealing speakers, very detailed speakers. So that, those are the pieces of equipment that I use to come to a conclusion that analog, at least in, on my uh, gear that I have, in my listening room that I have, um, sounds, the analog sounds better than digital. But please leave your equipment in the comment section below, whether you think digital sounds better or analog sounds better. Please leave both sides of your equipment, uh, your turntable and the digital end, in the comment section below that you use to uh, come to the conclusion that digital sounds better or analog sounds better. And we're not going to talk theory. We want to use real world equipment, real world listening tests, not theory. I have to say this in favor of the analog side. And that what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to tell you is not, you know, it's, it does not necessarily make it true that analog sounds better than digital. But let's keep that in mind. One of my viewers brought up the point that um, um, Michael Fremer, uh, and I've been thinking the same thing for a long, long time before he mentioned this, but mentioned that Michael Fremer has one of the best stereo set, setups in the world. Michael Fremer is a famous uh, audio reviewer. And he has uh, the, one of the best systems in the world. And he has one, uh, access to some of the best equipment in the world. He, and he uh, concedes that vinyl or analog sounds better than digital. And he's been saying that for decades. I've come to the same conclusions as well. But like I said, that does not necessarily make it true. What makes it true is what you think and believe. So please leave the equipment that led to your decision that digital sounds better or analog sounds better, in the comment section below. Not theory, but real-world equipment. Please leave that in the comment section below. This should be pretty interesting. The, like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. Like I said, there's been a divide on this topic, and I think there always will be. And it's, I think it's, it's equipment-based, uh, you know, that 
you know, influence our decision based on equipment we're using, maybe some other factors. But please leave your comments in the comment section below in terms of what equipment you're using to come up with your conclusion that digital or analog sounds the best. Thank you very much for viewing my video. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate that. God bless, strong love, and strong peace to all worldwide.